In 2001, a team of researchers led by Swedish scientist Dr. Lennart Moller, traveled in the footsteps of Moses, and the Israelites as they fled the Egyptian pharaoh in the hopes of proving there is truth in the ancient story. He also led an American TV crew to film the bottom of the Red Sea, where they claimed to have found ancient relics belonging to the army. He argued in, in his 2002 book, The Exodus Case, that there is a wealth of evidence to support his theory the biblical tale is more than just a work of fiction. Their expediton followed in the footsteps of Dr. Ron Wyatt, a biblical archaeologist, who in 1978 claimed he had photographic evidence of gold encrusted chariot wheels, as well as fossilized human and horse bones on the seabed. Situations where you see something that looks like an axle, a hub, something that looks like a wheel, and you say to yourself, this is not a coral reef, this is a coral growth on an artifact. And that is what's different to me when I compare corals at other locations around the world. Since the earliest explorations at Nueva, one distinctive type of formation has often been identified on the seafloor. A slender, table-like structure, sometimes standing on end, with a coral-encrusted base, a straight shaft, and a circular top. It's a 90-degree angle, a right angle, between something that looks like an axle and the wheel. And you can see this in different varieties, and it looks very different from normal coral growth. And uh, it is like a man-made structure 